All right, so the headlights, taillights are done. Um, just took delivery of the winch, and I thought that I would go ahead and share the unboxing with you. And let's take a look and see what we got. Now, just to let you know, um, the original brand that I wanted to buy, the price went up like 150 bucks since before Christmas, so I ended up going with something else. Um, the original one I was going to get was a 13, rated for 13,000 pounds. This one's rated for 10, which is going to be five for the Dakota. Um, the price was right. I got it for under 300 bucks. It's an X Bull. Um, and like I told you before, when I started to do this build, I'm trying to do the best I can for the least amount of money for the Dodge Dakota. Later on, when I have the uh, Toyota Tacoma, that's when I'm going to splurge and, and get the really good stuff. But for this, I'm going to get decent stuff that's going to work. You know, that's basically all I'm looking for right now. So anyways, uh, I watched videos and looked at reviews and this actually had a lot of good reviews. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this. This, this winch is 10,000 pounds rated and it cost me a whopping 282 bucks. Not too bad. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the box, open it up, see what we got inside. Actually, I gotta show you this stuff. That's a lot better than uh, than that generic hook that they uh, showed online. So good on them for that, huh? Very nice. I was actually gonna get the uh, the Badlands um, hook. Um, it's like thirty bucks, you know, because I think that it's super well built, just a, a good land. I still might, but we'll just see how this one works. So well, here we go. Encased in styrofoam. Looks like it took a little bit of a beating. We'll, we'll check that out. Owner's manual. Looks like your uh, negative cable. And that hangs off of the, that hangs off the hook. Put that right there. There. Hardware. And here we get down to the meat of this. Uh, all right. So we've got here. So So that looks like it's probably, uh, so that looks like your control box right there. Got your wires coming off. Uh, this will be the wireless remote. This will be the hard line wire remote. Set that off to the side. And then there's the winch itself. Synthetic line. I believe that it, it's like 80, 85 feet. I'll have to I'll have to look at it closer and and tell you. But we got here. Oh, fair lead. Check this out. That's pretty nice. That'll look good on that new front bumper. All right, cool. Set that over here. It's a good looking winch, man. Let me go ahead and set this down and I'll get it out of the box. Got a covered flap. 
plastic so it doesn't get scratched. It's going to get scratched out on the road anyway, right? Out on the trail? It's all right. Cool, man. So these, these instructions, they really don't give you a whole lot. I mean, they, they, they tell you how to, how to set up the wiring. So that's good. But there, there's nothing about what hardware goes where. It's all kind of common sense, right? So obviously the bigger bolts here are going for the fair lead, the bigger washers, the bigger nuts, right? And then these square, these square nuts here, they... And they go right in these slots here, okay? And it's nice because then you run the bolt up at there and they're already in place and uh, it's a perfect fit so that they can't turn. So then you can just ratchet it up and tighten it down. So it's really common sense, self-explanatory. And uh, yeah, I think that we're about ready to throw this bad boy in. Well, as things would have it, um, because of this little radiator, the winch sits back too far to fit in the slots that have been drilled. So what I've got to do is I've got to slot them out a little further. And so what I've done is I've drilled a hole here and then I've got uh, my uh, angle grinder, which I can, I'll cut on these, but I got my sawzall. So drill hole here, and then just use the sawzall to connect that, to make it one, make the, the slot a little bit longer. Once I do that, then uh, it should fit just fine, but it's just, it's just been one of those deals, you know, always trying to make things up as you go along sometimes. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now, making those slots longer. I'm gonna put some black paint down just so it doesn't rust later on.
That's a wrap. I'm finally done with this thing. Later this weekend, we'll take it out and we'll test it. And uh, we'll reel out the line and then load it back under tension like you're supposed to. Well, yeah, this is, uh, well, you can see. It's taken me a while, man. It was kind of a, uh, quite the task to get it all bolted in. But I got it. It's done. It's in place. There you go. Overland project never ends. Well, the time has come to take a little trip up to the mountains and go and try out this winch. Let's go do it. So anyway, we're here. Let's step out and take a look and see if uh, we've got a good spot for us to reel out this winch line. you guys I think that you know I'm I'm excited to be learning all the time I'm, I'm doing all this stuff that I've never done or had to do in my life before um, it's never perfect and I'll be the first one to admit it but um, you know I'm turning 53 April 1st and it's really cool to still be learning new things and getting out and doing new adventures you know this is gonna allow us the confidence to go out there and you know not worry quite so much about getting stuck somewhere because we've got another tool that's going to help us you know be able to get out of danger if, if we need to but man what a gorgeous day look at me i'm in a t-shirt got snow on the mountains all right there we go so i'm going to call it a wrap on the the winch and new front grill. I'm gonna call it a victory because everything came out good. The uh, black grill looks good. Which looks good, works good. It's 
so yeah thanks a lot for watching appreciate it um you know i'm sure that you've seen other people that make videos for youtube it, it is a lot of work you know to come up with a, a 15 20 minute video i might have four hours worth of video footage that i have to chew through to try to find the moments that i think will be entertaining you know so but i, I enjoy the creative process you know so stick with me we got a lot of adventures to come excited about it 2023 is going to be a fun year i got a four-day adventure out in the san rafael swell with my brother and his beast of a jeep which stay tuned because you're going to get to get a good look at that and the exciting upgrades that he's just had done to it down in las vegas we're going to give you a full tour anyway with that this video is done and i'm out